Okay, I got a question for you. You talked about spirituality a while ago, and there's these little things that people call karma, and if people end up getting what they sow and all that kind of stuff. There's an old maxim, I think it's a proverb out of China, I'm not sure where it came from, I found it years ago, and it says that all people end up getting the government they deserve. Americans are responsible for the last three or four hundred years of war, rape, and murder. I said, did people really think that this karmically was not going to come back on them? Really? Well, I have to disagree with you on that one in this regard, is that they use the media to brainwash us into thinking, for example, war was justified. Saddam had weapons of mass destruction. Or uh, Gaddafi, it was justified to take down his government. And, and I could just go on and on and on with the examples in which how they brainwash the American people into justifying what they do. My disagreement with that is this. The fact that people can be brainwashed is their fault. Oh, boy, I don't know, my friend. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You're, you're, Look, I grew up in the same system. What you were talking about in 2007, I was just like that up until about 1995. And then after that, things started changing. And I'll never forget when my wife and I moved to St. Kitts because I was sick and tired of the U.S. and I wanted out. I mean, I was done. I told her I will never pay another tax to pay for another bullet to kill another child in another country. I will never do it, ever. I don't care what they do to me. I will never pay them another dime to do it. Back then, we got in all kinds of legal problems, and I had to start studying law. And i never forget in 1999, I looked at my wife and I said, is it possible that we've just been lied to about everything our entire life? And she said, okay. yes. I said, then if I'm going to reverse engineer with this, i got to start with that premise in mind that everything I've been told is a lie. Well, I don't have a problem with that. So let, let me evaluate that. It is your own fault if you allow yourself to be brainwashed. Here's what I did from a contract standpoint. Because, see, John Adams trained his son to be ambassador to the courts of Versailles and Russia at age 14. 14. Do you know what my dad trained me to do? Shoot weapons. Drink, womanize, and not give a shit. <laughs> Me and you are pretty similar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here's the thing that among the Jesuit order that they believe, that no one can be deceived. And so when I looked at that from a contract standpoint, I went, wait a minute. Who creates the deceiver? If everybody's running around telling lies and everybody knows it's a lie, then they go, oh, that guy's a liar, that guy's a liar. Don't believe what he says, he's a liar. You create the deception. When you buy it, you have to be actively involved in the creation of the deceiver because up until that point, he's just a liar. 